What's up guys, Nerd Help Desk here, and today I'm going to show you how you build your own micro ITX Mac Mini alternative Hackintosh build for under or around $400. So if you're not familiar what a Hackintosh is, a Hackintosh is a PC based or uh, like a hardware that would supposedly only run Windows or Linux or something like that. You take that hardware and you install OS X on it and it's a very, it kind of can be a hard process to do. However, this build will run it very easily with very minimal hacking and tinkering to get OS X to run on it flawlessly. Now you could also use this rig for a uh, media center or anything else because of its micro ITX factor. And it actually is pretty powerful for its $400 price point. <clears throat> so let's get started. Now keep in mind, a lot of this stuff you can change around. Uh, you kind of just want to keep the motherboard and the CPU uh, to guarantee that 100% um, compatibility with OS X. If you want to change the CPU, uh, you can look around and see what other CPUs are supported. Mainly Intel CPUs are only supported. Anyway, let's go down the list. Uh, for the motherboard, I chose a Gigabyte um, GA-H77N. And this board's great because it's micro ATX, has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, um, 6 gigabyte per second SATA, USB 3.0, and it's got DVI on it, and two HDMI ports. So it's got a lot of versatility for $100. It's a great board. For the CPU, we went with an i3. What I like about this CPU is that it has the Intel uh, HD 4000 in it, which is an okay graphics card. Um, you should be okay with this graphics card, especially if you dedicate more RAM to it in the BIOS. Um, Practicality-wise, some say it's comparable to a 5450 uh, AMD chip. It's all right. It will work. Uh, it will play basic of games, and, you know, it's... It'll do its duty as a graphics card, um, but this chip does, or this motherboard does have expandability wise. So if you want to expand to a low profile graphics card, you could do that as long as, as long as it's compatible with the operating system that you chose. So if you're using OS X, you got to make sure it works with OS X. For the case, we're using an MI008 uh, micro ATX case. If you wanted to use a bigger case, you could as long as it supported the ITX. This one, uh, it's $50, and it comes with a 250-watt PSU. Uh, it's not 80-plus rated. However, this rig doesn't use a lot of power, so you'll be okay. And this case is pretty small. Uh, we have it compared in the video to a Nexus 7, and it's pretty small. It's going to fit in a lot of places. For the hard drive, I recommend that if you have an extra hard drive laying around that you're not using, you use that so you can save some money. If not, uh, you have your choice between going with an SSD or a normal hard drive. Uh, I went with a Momentus XT hybrid drive at 750 gigabytes. Pretty good drive. I'm actually very impressed with it. It's the first Seagate hybrid drive that doesn't really suck. Um, super fast boot times. Uh, Ableton Live loads super fast. And lastly, for the RAM, you want to get something around 8 gigabytes for 1600 megahertz. The reason why I'm not picking one out for you guys is um, those you know prices go up and down on makes and models. Just find a cheap set of two four gigabyte DDR3 1600 megahertz RAMs. Make sure it's got good reviews on it. Throw that in there. You should be okay. Uh, so around four hundred dollars, um, you can save some money. Add some money in as where say you want some SSDs or you want to save some money and only use four gigabytes of RAM. However, I would recommend that you use eight gig. Um, so impressively. Uh, for $400, you get a pretty impressive rig, especially for Mac OS X. I've been using Mac OS X on this, um, running the latest version of Mountain Lion for about a week, and it's very, very snappy, very, very fast. I would recommend this if you're trying to save money and getting a Mac Mini um, profile, kind of. I mean, it is bigger than a Mac Mini, but at a way cheaper price, almost half the price and um, slightly faster. It's a little bit faster in the CPU department. The uh, current generation Mac Mini has an i5 mobile chip and this has an i3 desktop chip and this one's just slightly faster, slightly newer. Great there. So if you have any questions, comment below, message me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, whatever. I'm Nerd Help Desk. I'll see you guys later.